Hello, Capricorn. So this is a cardless reading. So just like with the readings that I use the cards, remember energies can be reversed even with a cardless reading. The very first thing that came to my mind whenever I thought of your energy this time was the word lesson. There's some sort of lesson that you are working your way through that feels a bit difficult. And I'm not going to lie to you. It feels it's because you have a stubborn streak that you cannot let go of. It's a justification needing to be right um, or justified in some way. It's, it's something along that line where it feels very Taurus-y. When you think of Taurus, they're the bull. It feels like a very bull type of energy. Like, I'm going to make this happen or I'm not going to do this. It's It could go either way, okay? But I do feel as if there are deep thoughts going on with you. I see you contemplating something. And it's quietly for most of you, meaning it's not something that you're sharing with other people. Some of you, just random thing here, check your tires. And right after I said that, I heard something pop. So that's a confirmation. Some of you really do need to check your tires. Um, I don't know, maybe air's low in them or a bad tread. or um, It could also mean watch out for people messing with your tires even. I heard the song Shameless by Garth Brooks. I'm not a big country fan, but that is in my vocabulary. I don't know if the word shameless is just in and of itself that word or if it's about the lyrics. But if you're interested, you can look that up. Again, it's Garth Brooks, Shameless. Um, it could be about you or somebody that you're dealing with. <clears throat> There's something about, for some of you, there could be a fine. I don't, again, you have to forgive me. I don't know your life, but there may be something coming up about a fine. I'm giving it a minute. I'm not getting any more words just at this second. Forgive me if I like get quiet for a few minutes. I have to let the the messages come through and sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to process, okay? Some of you may be lecturing. You may be teaching a class or um just giving some sort of lecture. Maybe you're even lecturing a kid. I mean, it could be anything like that. But I get this, like I get this communication type of vibe of what's going on with you. It's like trying to get through to someone or teach someone something here. Hold on. Yeah. I also have this feeling, and this may tie in to what's going on, it may not, but I also get this feeling that, how do I explain it? It's like you want things done a certain way. And it's like you, you, lock up, you close up, you are resistant to changing your philosophies or the way that you do things. Now, that's not going to be for everybody, 
But I do, like I said, and that kind of ties in with what I said about there's a stubborn streak. Something you're being very stubborn about. For some of you, it's gloaty as well. What do I mean by gloaty? Um, meaning that you get some sort of satisfaction out of holding things up if they're not done in the way that you want them to be done. And some of you are, are really like proud of that and see that as a virtue, not realizing that it's actually not always a virtue. I saw something about a vine. So there could be something you could be gardening or there could be something about, you know, like I heard it through the grapevine, could be gossip going on. What else? Okay, I'm starting to go blank, so I'm going to do just like I did with Sagittarius. I'm going to pull just, you know, one tarot card and one oracle card, and if more come out, that's fine, but my objective is just one. There's something that you're feeling victorious about. <clears throat> There's a level of arrogance to this. And I don't, I mean, that can be arrogance in a mean way, but it can also be, maybe that's not the right word. Um, you want to be seen as the victor. Okay. Let me pull one more of those and then I'll go to the oracle. I feel like there's gossip. I said that. But when it comes to you, I think you're being very tight-lipped about whatever this is that you're so adamant about. Mm. There was a whole bunch. I'm not going to read all of these. And trying to control your family, that's what some of these are. Or you're trying to control a family situation. Yeah, this is talking about you um, not wanting to make a choice as a strategy because you're financially invested. Oh, well, in a past or a child's inheritance. Yours is similar, not not at, in some ways like Sagittarius, because Sagittarius also got something about an inheritance too. Um, so that's, that's what the card said. I mean, the tarot cards, now I'm going to pull one oracle card. If you're wondering, I like to do this because it just lets me know if what I was feeling is what the cards see too or not.
Oh, I don't know which one that was. I think it was this one. Upheaval. Let me just see. Because I'm not sure that was the right one. Um, that very card is very destructive. It also kind of... Um, <clears throat> It talks about aggression. It talks about things from the past coming back up that you know about, okay? And it could have something to do with your mother, but it does not have to. Um, but there's some sort of conflict that you're aware of, but you're feeling victorious because you're not making a choice because you're financially invested. That's what we're seeing so far. So let's pull one more oracle card and then I'm going to let this go because I think I think the oracle cards and the tarot cards have pretty much said what I feel for the most part, though I didn't get anything about the mother in the beginning. But again, that doesn't have to be that doesn't have to be the case, but for some of you it will be. Or maybe it has something to do with a mother. It doesn't have to necessarily be your mother. Yeah, it's, your cards don't want to come out. I'm having a hard time pulling cards for you. And I feel like that further illustrates that you're resistant to change. There we go. Yeah. You're using great caution, taking things very slowly, and it's causing a lot of conflict. Okay. And when I say taking things slowly, I mean that whole thing about not making a choice about something here. You know it's causing problems. You absolutely know. But you're not going to divulge or give anybody the satisfaction um, of a resolution. That's kind of the feeling that I get. I'm so confused by this. I want to know what it is. Ooh. So there's all of this. Is it because you were left out in the cold? I'm not really sure, but that was the card that I got when I was like, okay, what is this about? And it came up with the five of pentacles. This is like putting effort into something only to realize that you wasted your time or your energy. So there's something, maybe you wasted your time and energy on something. And you know that you did. But you're being quiet. You're being quiet about it. For some of you. It's like, it's almost like you enjoy the conflict. You enjoy, um, yeah, that's what it feels like. That's not going to be, like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. But I'm so confused by this reading. Oh, for some of you, it could have had something to do with a sexual apology. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to tell you, much like I told Sagittarius a while ago, the next card that came up was a tower because of a risk that you took. So... Um, this is a faded time where things are coming back around to haunt people that they thought had closed down and it was over and they didn't have to deal with it. But it may be that you are having to deal with something like this. Um, So 
Some of you, it could also be, to be fair, it could be that you're dealing with somebody who um, is very, how do I explain this, temperamental. Or this could be you who's very temperamental. But somebody here may be trying to rally this temperamental person. So rather than making the choices that need to be made, you know, this is what we cho chose to do. Let me just see one, one thing. So what can Capricorn, oh, wow, deception was the card that came out. I didn't even get to answer the, I mean, ask the question. What can Capricorn do to make this situation better? Make a choice. That's what came out. Number eight. Make a choice. Stop guarding the door. Let the situation transform. For whatever that means. Because as it stands, you know, if you haven't seen the tower, you're going to see the tower. All right, guys, I'm just going to let that go. I I start getting certain words and then it's like yours just totally cut off on me. And I and I really do feel like that just means that you're you don't really talk very much or you're keeping this to yourself. And, you know, it's kind of like a shut up type of energy. Um, but you need to uphold your part and share your wisdom. Um You're going to have to feel your way into it, that's for sure. But there's some sort of contract or something like this that was deceptive that you're going to need to uh, correct. All right, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.